My name is Hannah Hollinger and I'm a lecturer and PhD student at UHI. I originally went to university in Leeds and then qualified and went to work in London in the area of neurosciences because it fascinated me. There's not full knowledge about neurology so it's always a changing environment of care. Then I moved into research and worked with motor neuron disease patients. Then I moved up to the Highlands and worked as a, a lecturer, um, which is my current job at the moment. So as I started to um, come, become familiar with the sort of environment that I lived in in Highlands, I realised that the opportunities for um, going swimming were all around us. It's not just going to your local pool with the kids um, and I met some people who were willing to explore some of the local swimming opportunities. So started in the sort of summer months when it's a bit warmer and um, we just carried on. And as the weather got colder, it sort of became more of a challenge. And then you realized um, how invigorating it was getting into the cold water. I crave getting in the water, um, especially cold water. You can't think about anything else other than being in that moment, being surrounded by nature, the way that the cold kind of wraps around your body and starts to sort of bring your body to life um, whilst calming your mind at the same time. And then you're very just engaged in sort of the sounds of the waters, the way your body flows through the water the bird sound around. It's just all encompassing really. And then that, that energy stays with me afterwards and I, I feel alive. So I started to read a lot of the literature around um, multiple sclerosis and obviously um, the symptoms that these individuals have and the, the basis behind the fact that evidence shows like inflammatory um, components within the condition that creates lots of symptoms and then having an interest in cold water swimming I was obviously reading some of the literature around that as well um, and the reduction in inflammation and there's been some stuff in the news as well about um, sort of effect that it can have in terms of like Alzheimer's, reducing stress um, and I just felt that if I can feel invigorated and other people when you read some of the uh, sort of grey literature around um, wild swimming people have felt um, that they have more energy um, in after cold water swimming and that it's uh, reduced pain, um, it reduces stress levels, it's reduced fatigue and having seen that fatigue is one of the main symptoms that people with MS can um, experience uh, I thought that maybe you could combine the sort of cold water therapy um, with seeing how it affected people with MS fatigue. Obviously the, the practicalities of um, coming to locks, which are not always accessible, um, are limited for, for some people if their mobility is, is reduced. Um, so I started doing some reading around sort of cold showering. So there's some research out there that shows that um, cold showers reduce sort of sickness at work, um, you know, reduce stress levels. Um, can help with things like headaches and I felt that maybe that was a, a practical start for some people maybe to start to consider um, cold showering on a regular basis. I'm working with people with, with MS to develop a protocol and I'm hoping that it has a positive outcome in terms of the feasibility and acceptability of such a protocol and an intervention it's a sort of a behavior change uh, intervention um, for individuals suffering with MS fatigue. Going swimming in the water is it is a mindful thing it is a focusing thing and it's something that I will continue to access way beyond doing my PhD 
um, I think probably for the rest of my life.